about a couple of days out of your whole life. Come on now. Okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. We have a king bed and it also has an ensuite. So, with the ensuite, it has a, a walk in shower combo. And right across the hall from 22, we have 21. 21 is also an ensuite. Ensuite also has a TV. Um, these are by my mom, okay, made especially for you by Josie T, okay? Uh, she made sure that all rooms had baskets for our guests. So here, we also have another stand-up walk-in shower. So it is a little bit larger, but for the most part, same ensuite, you know? And if you follow me this way, we have a sitting here right next to the entryway. So probably a good resting area for people to drop off their beds before they find their room assignments. And then we have room 20. Room 20 is also another ensuite. So I actually really, really like these lamps in this room. It just goes nice with the decor. It also has a closet right here if you wanted to hang up a few things. And then we have, of course, another bathroom with a walk-in shower with a glass frame. It looks very similar to one of the other bathrooms we just saw. And right across from 20, we have 23, as you can see here. In 23, it is another King Ensuite. Uh, so, of course, you have a smaller closet right here. This one actually has some better hangers, so if people need hangers, we might need to switch this out. And then... And then another walk-in shower. And right here, we actually have an elevator. We are not going to get on the elevator yet, but it is a square size. It's actually kind of small, but it's a doable elevator because it is, what, three, three floors in here, so. Technically four. But... Technically four, but they're registering three. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want the elevator to come to you, it's already here, but you could just hit call. And then when it's here, it'll say that the car is here. Right next to the elevator, we have the stairs, which I think I'm gonna use that a lot because it's a little bit faster than the elevator, okay? Here's 19. 19 is another King Ensuite, has a, another closet, and then another, bathroom this walk-in shower looks a little bit different it's more of a like a brighter aesthetic so really really like that vibe going on because you all know i like the bright stuff right across from 19 we have 24 24 does have a king size bed as well. It does have like a different type of aesthetic vibe going on with the headboard and the bed frame. Another closet. I feel like they all have the same size closets. Some just got better hangers than the other, okay? <laughs> and then another walk-in shower. Here is a guest bathroom that is right beside this room and this is just for guests who may not have you know, enough time or energy to get to the other bathroom. It has a toilet right here. And I really, really like this mirror setup with the circle. Mm -hmm. And in room 18, we actually don't have anybody staying in room 18 because you'll see why, come on. <laughs> it's the bunk beds and the carpet and such. And then this one actually has like a Jack and Jill 
um, with some sinks and then it actually has a tub and shower combo that we really don't need that fan is very loud <laughs> and the room beside it also has like more bunk beds that we just don't need all right, and then right across from the bunk bed room, we had a washer and dryer room. So, enough washer and dryers to run several loads at one time, which is like really, really helpful. So, this is the connected to the bunk bed rooms with the Jack and Jill, which is 17. And then down here, it's a little bit dark. Let me see if I can find some light. Come on, come on, assistant. I got an assistant behind the scenes helping us out. So down here is like another common area that people can sit in and chill and talk. We do have a refrigerator here, as well as a sink, microwave, and a dishwasher. Has some games right here. And right across from the games, this is where someone has been liking hanging out with. Like, so this is the theater room. I'm not exactly sure how many people could see, but I guess you could count and figure that out. And then if people wanted to stand back here and possibly have drinks, they could use it as well, okay? All right, and this is the groom's room. He is actually in room 10. That's right. And voila. You want to show your own room, Stefan? I'll show, I'll show my room off. Okay, okay, okay. The team, make sure they hook me up. You know what I'm saying? We got the balloons. You know what I'm saying? They got my got my basket. Yes, oh, see, this one even up here at first. They went ahead and put the Netflix up there for us. This might be one of my favorite additions right here. Boom! Come on now. That's uh... That's me, of course. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to fall over the balloons. This is my shot. Some of our rooms already have door tags, as you all can see. We have a shower combo over here as well. <laughs> and if you were wondering where would the elevator land on the second floor, it is actually going to be right here. Then we have room 14. We have a king size bed. And we have this shower combo again. This one does have the brighter aesthetic, if you all were wondering. And right across the hall, we have room 11. This one is giving boho vibes just a little bit, which I really, really like. And then we also have another bright aesthetic bath. another common area right here where people can sit room 12 room 12 has a king ensuite but it also has some nice views from the front of the house and then it actually has this nice bathroom When you get that itch, <laughs> yeah, I ain't used to it. Come on, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What's the thank assistant? You. <laughs> and right here, we have another key on suite, just a different bed. This closet actually comes with an open closet layout, which is actually kind of nice. If you lay in bed, you're thinking about what I'm going to wear tomorrow, it's right there, it's in your face, okay? Over here we have the bathroom that goes along with it. It is actually not a walk-in shower combo, but it comes with a tub and the shower curtain. And over here, we have another bunk bed combo that is attached to a Jack and Jill bathroom. And then it has a tub and shower combo.
Then this is a guest bathroom. And over here we have another common area. Then we have another common area. And then over here we have another common area. And then over here we have another common area. So as we're filming this, they have been putting more snack baskets in the common area so that when people wake up in the morning, they can grab just a snack or no bar, chips, whatever, if they had the midnight snacks. Snackery, what is it? The midnight munchies, I guess. <laughs> so another billiards table. There's another one upstairs, by the way. And refrigerator, and of course, another basket of snacks. We're making sure you don't go hungry, okay? <laughs> There's also a TV in this common area. Last room on this hall, though, is this ensuite area. It has this bed. Of course, it just feels like a larger room, actually. It has a TV. And it also has this walk-in shower to go with it. We're still setting up, so make sure we just gonna send it all down at once. And this is my end of town. This is my room, number five. Mm. in my room our hostesses are they our hostess but basically our wedding planners okay our family <laughs> slash wedding planners also got me a matching robe and bedroom shoes and i thought i get to the balloons <laughs> <laughs> in the bathroom i also have double vanities double sinks okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course the toilet we have a walk-in shower so one thing about the shower that i'm actually happy about is that it's like kind of large don't know if you all know this but i have shower anxiety so at least i can without feeling like i'm gonna touch anything okay <laughs> about a couple of days i'll be a whole wife come on now okay. hey hey <laughs> hey yes sir <laughs> Right across the hall, this is actually my CC room. <laughs> so, they already brought their stuff in, okay? They come packed and ready. <laughs> Closet, king ensuite, and then we also had a walk-in shower combo as well. All right, then we have room number four. Another key on suite. I actually do like this bed set. So mm -hmm. Looks very masculine. Then we have our double sinks. And then it has a nice shower combo right attached to it. I really like this shower. Mm -hmm. Then we have a hallway bathroom again. So mirror, sink, and toilet. I do feel like people are probably be using this bathroom a lot because it is attached to the main kitchen. Of course we cannot show Of course Ma 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 Come on Sharpe. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we cannot show you all like the main kitchen and the wonderful views yet because they're still setting up. So let's head upstairs and look at the game. All right. We do have this table here where you can pull up chairs to. And then, this is very nostalgic. We have some of these games that were in the barbershops. Any pizza place you used to go to for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we have some seated areas up here. The sofa. Okay, so we haven't plugged this in yet, so we have some people that's probably gonna want to play this and we need to plug it up. We have a sink, okay? We still wash our hands over here, okay? Because of COVID. <laughs> 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 have a billiards table and there's some ping pong. And for the people that actually know how to play poker, we'll send them back here, okay? <laughs> And some TVs, and as you all see here, as I was coming up, I picked up a gift along the way. Thank you so much. I don't even know if the person that sent me this watches my videos, but thank you.